our silicon wafers round. Have you ever seen a silicon wafer and thought, oh yes, a perfect circle, just like electronics are? Well, of course not. Phones are rectangles, chips are squares, and motherboards are terrifying polygonal jigsaws. So why is the stuff they're made from shaped like a dinner plate from the future? Well, it's simple. It's because of how they're made. To make a silicon wafer, you start by growing a giant crystal of silicon. And how do you grow a crystal? You dip a small seed crystal into molten silicon and slowly pull it out while spinning it, like making candy floss, but for semiconductors. The result is a long, perfectly cylindrical ingot. So what do you do with the cylinder? Well, you slice it into thin flat circles, because if you try to cut squares from a cylinder, you'd either waste loads of silicon or accidentally invent a new kind of frisbee. This method is called the Chakrovsky process, which sounds like something you'd shout whilst skiing, but it's actually just really good at making flawless single crystals. The circular shape isn't symbolic, aesthetic, or magical. It's just the natural consequence of rotating a cylinder on a blade and slicing bits off. Round wafer because round ingot. And no, it's not because they're easier to carry or spin in a machine or fit neatly into a witch's cauldron. That's just bonus. The irony, after spending all this effort growing perfect round wafers, chip manufacturers immediately take those lovely circles and carve out tiny rectangular chips. It's the most expensive geometry lesson in the world. Still, it could be worse. At least we're not making square crystals and trying to spin them in a pot of lava. More of this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.